Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps of Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, today is October 15th. Let's find out what's going on for today. October 15th, what messages, what guidance do we need for October 15th? Taking the steps we're guided to take. You guys, these are true intentions right here. All right. Taking steps, taking steps towards our happily ever after, taking steps towards our stability, taking steps uh, in all areas of life. I, don't know, I guess some of these are, un, are upside down. So next card for October 15th, Spirit, what messages, what guidance? All right. We have back and forth. Okay. Back and forth. Yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm going to take the steps. No, I'm not going to take those steps. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Taking steps towards our future, honoring the past, but it came up in reverse. So I'm going to have to read why did that come up in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, the vast universe is also in reverse. Uh, I don't like reading reversals, but they did show up in reverse. So we're going to go ahead and read them as they are. So we will find out. This one is number one, spirit. Okay. Uh, let's go to... I don't know why I always have something hidden. So, number one, spirit, come on. Okay, so, all right, sorry about that, you guys. Fast forward through that if you have to. Okay, in the reverse, when this card comes to you reversed, you find yourself feeling isolated and unable to resolve things on your own. So... You're looking for connections and solutions, but things may feel pretty grim. It's important to know, however, that you are never disconnected from divine consciousness or from anyone or anything in your universe. It's all about your energy, so be sure to release any fear that puts you that puts up walls or shuts down important spiritual and personal alliances. Okay, so take those steps you're guided to take, okay, you guys? But do not blame yourself for past vibrations. The only, th the only, or that only separates you further. What is called for here is a conscious c intention to connection and to redefine yourself according to your divine's legacy or divine legacy that's where your true power value and worthiness comes from your history and your future span the length of time open up to this truth and leave the old limitations behind shift to a deeper spiritual view of life the solutions you seek will be illuminated by the divine light that flows to your willing heart. Okay. So I feel like, you know, don't let anything stop you at this time. I feel like whatever, you know, steps that you're guided to take, I feel like you just kind of need to go with your in, uh, intuition and go with the flow. You know, I feel like there's this back and forth energy of I can do it. No, I can't like, I've got this. No, I don't. Okay, and then we have number seven, intentions, and that is in the reverse. So we want to make sure, let's go see what this is. Okay, so seven, here we are. Okay, in reverse. When this card is reversed, it's a sign of significant self-dismissal and negotiation. Your life may be filled with people who take advantage of you. But it is you who is setting the stage with your own willingness to put everyone else first. This card is telling you to get back in conscious control. It's time to break the negative cycle of continually living according to other people's agendas. It may seem foreign to you, but it's time to make yourself a priority. Demand respect from, for, uh, from yourself and others. Choose healthy habits and loving self-talk. Be aggressive with your radical self-care. Your unwavering intention to do so will lead you to a powerful happiness that is the pres uh, pers 
pervasive current of a beautiful and highly regarded life. Your affirmation is, I choose to prioritize myself. I am a truly valuable person deserving of my own self-care. So I feel like sometimes you teeter back and forth like, oh, I'm not worthy or, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And it's like, you need to teach people how to treat you. Okay. It's like having the confidence and the wherewithal to teach people, you know, how to treat you. And the thing is, is I don't say, I don't, I don't like the words demand respect. I command it. When I walk into a room, you either respect me or you won't be in my sphere. And that's how I am. I'm not the type of person who, you know, I'm going to play the wishy-washy game. Like, yeah, you know, I'll pretend I like you just because you're in the same room and then turn around and talk shit about you behind your back. That doesn't work with me. I take steps away from people because self-care is very important to me. And so I can't pretend when I like someone, uh, you just don't exist in my world, period. And I know that that sounds harsh and it sounds mean, but I don't do this back and forth wishy-washiness. Like I said, when I step foot into a room, I command respect. If you do not respect me, you will not be in the same room as me. doesn't mean I have any ill will or intentions towards you. It just means I want you to eat, just not at my table. Okay, so there's a difference there. And so knowing that you are worthy of treating yourself that way and anybody who does not make sure that those people are no longer in your sphere. There's none of this back and forth energy of, oh, well, I have to put up with them because they're family. No, you don't. Okay, family is your biggest test and your biggest lesson. Okay, so when it comes right down to it, sometimes you just need to take, to take the steps away from your family members so that you no longer feel that. Okay, so there's this back and forth push and pull energy that I'm feeling here today. Okay, so Spirit, please show me for October 15th. Yeah, okay, there is... Hmm. Yeah. Someone here who has no cooth. Someone here who you are needing to walk away from. Some of these people, uh, I want to say, you know, your cup is no longer fulfilled in this situation. I think that whatever this person has been offering you is a bunch of baloney. It's a bunch of bullshit is what I'm getting. And it's like, I feel like you already know this, uh, but, you know, sometimes, you know, the devil's in the details. I feel like what you're needing to do is relinquish control of the devil, your shadow side, the fear. And I feel like it's the fear of letting people go who are not showing that. That type of respect to you uh, you know and sometimes you just have to you know let the chips fall where they may I feel like you know um, if this was in the upright it would say that your cup runneth over this is an empty cup and I'm sorry but anybody walking with a horse uh, you know with a cup you know by the time you get to your destination that cup is gonna be empty and you know what here's the deal you can't pour from an empty cup Okay, so for some of you, this could be, you know, be, uh, uh, between you and your children, you could be fighting with a child here. Uh, there could be some words that are spoken. I feel like this is a test. And I think that it's to see if you're going to be that back and forth wishy-washy. You know, maybe you are trying to heal with a child and this child just keeps coming back in. And it's it's for you to overcome this, uh, this devilish aspect of yourself. And maybe it's just a test to see if your child's going to do that as as well. Um, you know, I think that in the past, you know, we have feared, uh, you know, that, you know, falling out with our children is really hard. You know, I've had the same thing with my own kids, you know, and I like to share a lot of my life with you guys because it shows that I'm human. And here's the deal to me. It's like, by sharing aspects of my personal life, it helps you understand that just because I know this stuff doesn't mean that I'm immune to the energy. It means that you can come in with, you know, full intentions of showing love to a person, but this person doesn't have the same heart as you do. And so this person, even though you're showing them love, they are here with their sword up and they're ready for a fight. Um, anytime that I see the page of swords in reverse, this person has no couth. This person... You know, you could definitely get in a fight with somebody here in the morning. Uh, but I also want to say that somebody here is spying on you. Um, and this person is probably watching your social media uh, accounts and things like that. They could be watching you. It doesn't mean that it has to be creepy. But uh, for some of you, it's just, you know, their intentions are not pure. Okay. Uh, 
I don't even want to get into what they're showing me, Spirit. Let, let's not even go there. I'm going to go ahead and change the subject on that. I'm not willing to go that far with this reading. Uh, be careful what is coming in today. I will be honest with you. I don't know. You know, when we have a dark moon like we do right now, because the moon is, uh, we're getting ready to come up on this new moon. So if you notice that you don't even see a sliver in the sky right now, uh, you know, I say, I say be careful of whatever intentions. People can be highly overly emotional right now, back and forth, wishy-washy and things like that. Yeah, unrequited love. I don't feel like there is enough love or attraction to keep this re relationship going. And I think that you need to take the steps that you're guided to take to walk away from these relationships so that you can walk towards ones that are more loving. And I feel like you need to overcome the devil. If there is no love loss in this situation, it's like... And that's what it is. It's love loss. There is no love in this situation anymore. And it is time for you to walk away from what you know no longer serves a purpose. And you need to honor and respect that as well. Okay. Okay. So express your love. Uh, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I think that if somebody does express their love to you today, I don't think it's going to be very well received. I will tell you that right now, especially with the cup pouring out, there is no more. This person comes back and forth into your life. I think that for some of you, this could definitely be an ex. Uh, yeah. Pay attention to the red flags. I don't think that there's enough trust, uh, you know, and trust your intuition when it comes to this. And one more card engagement. I think that if this person tries to engage with you, I think that you need to just trust your intuition, okay? I think that there's a belief system difference uh, here. I think that, you know, there could definitely be fights and arguments when it comes to, you know, your belief systems and someone else's. Listen, there is no wrong way. Whatever makes you feel good on the inside is what is right. And if something is not making you feel good anymore, stop running towards it, okay? That is the control that you have when it comes to your own personal life. Um, you know, so, uh, I do feel like if somebody comes in rushing in today with an offer, I do believe that this offer is going to be turned down. I feel like this person could definitely be very childish in their approach. Um, but I just don't feel like whatever courting is happening here today is going to be, uh, <clears throat> especially if somebody comes back from the past, uh, which is kind of what I see, um, you know, or this person just obviously feels that there's not enough uh, romance or attraction or that this person will reject them. And I think that that is a fear that you need to overcome. So you know which side of the fence you're on, you guys. This is a new moon in Libra. And Libra is all about relationships, partnerships, one-on-ones, BFFs, roommates. It's bringing love relationships together. And it's also walking away from ones that no longer serve a purpose, ones that are not showing us the love and the commitment that we all deserve. You guys, you know, don't keep yourself stuck. I always say if you're if you're not bound and gagged in the basement, you always are free to go. So if there's no more love here, time to let it go. Okay. Even if this is memories of the past, quit being wishy-washy, quit being back and forth. If you want somebody in your life, express the love. If you don't want somebody in your life, walk away. Okay. It is all you. It's all the ball is in your court is what I just heard from spirit. So Trust in the divine, uh, relinquish any, you know, control that the darkness has had over you, uh, your fears, your worries, and your doubts, and trust that whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. So you guys, if this sounds like your story and you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my brand new website. I'd love it if you guys would go over and check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And we'll chat again right after this. Stay tuned.